An ID card record. I see. I have the ID card record right here, Your Honor. The ID used at 514 is that of the victim. Just before the crime, hmm? Yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. Several hundred cases should have been due for transfer. Why were there so few people using this room? This particular evidence room is only used for storing special, certain special cases. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Me too, although it doesn't make much of a difference. <laughs> There were only a few cases up for transferal there, and most were cleared up by noon. Right, I see. Now, let us move on to the cross-examination. Alright. The evidence room, blah blah blah. Huh, is that what you think? Well, I got something here. Might prove you wrong. OBJECTION! <laughs> Wait one moment, Officer Meekins. I'm not good at waiting, sir. I have the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the crime scene. That makes sense. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean, the other crime scene. The underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. This is a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. A uh, lost item report? It's only half completed. But it shows that Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to fill out this report. Let me guess. You believe this something to be his ID card, right? I can't say for sure, but there is a high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Order, order. So now, what does all this all mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't require much thought. The man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. Order, order, order. Does the prosecution have a response? I have only one thing to say to the defense. Bravo, Mr. Wright. B bravo Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15 p.m. on the day of the crime, the man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman. There are two grounds to support this. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim lost his ID card. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. That's the answer. That being the case, we must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murder in the evidence room is also fake. In other words, the security camera does not show the instant of the murder. Uh, that is... Well, I guess that's right. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Only moments ago, you seemed content to be pointing your finger around. This isn't good. Well, well, it seems you finally realized exactly what you've gone to such lengths to prove. Explain yourself, Mr. Wrightworth. The defense has already done the explaining for me. The victim in this video is a fake, which means a murder did not take place at the police department at 515 on the day of the crime. So... So the real crime can only take place at one location, the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office, the murderer being Miss Lana Sky, the defendant. The evidence is compelling. A trustworthy witness observed the moment the defendant used the murder weapon. Oh dear. I knew that testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap from the beginning. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. 
Who exactly was the victim Officer Meekins encountered? And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Just so, Your Honor. Yes, you're right. You have to do something, or else Lana... What do I do? How am I supposed to get myself out of this mess? OBJECT! OBJECTION! One moment, Your Honor. What now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. Of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. What are you talking about? This cross-examination has proven one thing and one thing only. The security video did not show the actual murder. <coughs> Excuse me. All this damn voice acting. However, it cannot be said that it is unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Specifically, large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. The defense demands further examination of the truth of the matter. Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor? If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. Is the prosecution prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. We have not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. This just might be my chance. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger instead. Mr. Wright, do you mean... Your Honor? The defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh? Whom do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. The prosecution requests to hear this person's name before deciding whether or not to comply. Very well then, Mr. Wright. This person whom you would have t whom you would have testified, what is his or her, na her name? His name is... Take that! Officer Jake Marshall. Why him? I can't let him know everything just yet. He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel we should hear what he has to say. The prosecution agrees to the defense's request. Since he was responsible for guarding the room, we should hear his testimony. Fortunately, he works in the police department. We shouldn't need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Very well. The court will take a 30-minute recess while the witness is subpoenaed. Will the prosecution please prepare the witness during this time? We will, Your Honor. Court in recess. Eleven thirty-two a.m. So about lunchtime. There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? Huh? What do you mean? You called for Jake Marshall. It seems you've figured everything out. Uh, I haven't figured anything out. Lana, you're the one who knows everything. Ima, you always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Mr. Wright is trying his hardest to protect you. I don't recall ever asking for his protection. How can you be so cold? Don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals! Oh, yes I am. I'll come back later. Oh, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? Got a lot of nerve, pal, making the detective run all around while on duty. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen, uh, yeah, I've seen happier people at funerals. Sorry, detective. You better be, pal. Hey. I didn't see you there, Miss Sky. That's okay. So, have you brought what I asked? Oh. Ho <laughs> ho. You mean this, right? My apologies, Detective. Due to my present circumstances, I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when making my request. My name? Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who asked me. Could I bother you to bring the SL9 incident files? I'll need them by noon. 
talk about? Great. The SL9 incident? But Lana, that's... I thought Mr. Wright need, might need them, so I, I had them brought here. Here, you might do well to read them. I can't believe you. The chief prosecutor were a witness in that case. Miss Skye was a witness? Take it from me, you don't want anything to do with serial murders. Oh, what? Now that I've brought your stuff, you're just gonna ignore me? Ema, but why? Why is your name in here? What? My name is in there? I don't know. Unless... No, it couldn't be. Lana, this SL9 incident, is that... That's the classification number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as the Joe Dark killings. The Joe Dark... No. No, Lana. That's over with. No! Eva, wait! She ran away. Uh, you know what? I just remembered. I gotta be somewhere. Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Damon Gant, Miles Edgeworth, not to mention Lana and Ema. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. This can't be just a coincidence. Knowing you, you just might be able to figure it out. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. I better take a good look at this file. Okay, so next time we're going to uh, finish the second trial in case five. See you then.